Hello, it's John, shopkeep arty, and today I am with Howard Jones. Hi, Howard. Hi, John. Um, now, the reason we're here is we are presenting a new upcoming art series to you. It's a series of four art classes, and it's going to be on the first Tuesday of every month at uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, UK time. And we're doing, there's four art classes and there's four seasons throughout the year. And we're going to be exploring colour palettes and we're going to be painting a lovely seasonal painting uh, in each class but we're going to be talking about and exploring the palettes that Howard uses and we'll be I'll be asking him about it in a minute um what palettes he chooses for each season so seasonal paintings so it's, it's a really great one you've got a whole month to kind of think about it digest then you can ask the questions at the next class all of uh from, from the first one you can attend live obviously and you'll get sent the live link um but the price of the series includes the video recordings of the classes as well. So if you if you miss one of the four, you can watch the video or if you've done it live, but you want to relive it, uh, you can watch it time and time again. Anyway, enough from me. Let's go over to Howard now. And so the first one, uh, Howard, on Tuesday, the 5th of March. Um, mm -hmm. is you've entitled quite appropriately seeing as it's still a little bit chilly outside winter yeah. landscape and you've got a lovely snowy photo reference uh with is that a, a farm building in the background I, I, yes yeah i tend to um it's the, the local to me here um it's great when the snow comes down I find a flat fieldish area there's lots of mountains around me but um when the snow comes down you tend to sort of see the the, the roofs of the buildings more than anything else so i mean the, yeah farm uh, or barn it's a, a, a it's a, it's a barn roof or a farm roof in most of my paintings these days so yeah and i i would imagine because we, we have done recently a a, a monthly theme with our RT Unlimited uh, series all yeah. about snow. And there's this kind of common misconception that you don't have to paint very much because you can just let, let the paper do the work. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated than that because you have to pull in the warmth of the snow sometimes and, and things like that. But I would imagine you're going to be going through that because it just from the, the look of that, I think, oh, what, how there's a lot of lights and darks, but how do you sort of make the painting pop? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, I'm going to go into that in 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 detail. Um, you're right, though. Um, I think people think that it's um, well, it, it, strictly speaking, it is minimalistic. Um, but that in itself is a vital lesson to learn, because um, we do utilize the white of the paper in snow scenes, obviously. Um, that means you've got to be making very good and very accurate brush marks. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't, there's no hiding place really. So I'm going to show people how to, um, maximize the effect of snow through minimum brushwork and make sure that, that color palette represents both the cold colors and, and surprising amount of warm colors, but it's, which it's the getting those balance between cools and warms in your color palette. Yeah, yeah, no, brilliant. And uh, as with all our workshops, uh, we'll be sharing a link uh, that you can share your paintings once you've done them. You've got a whole month to share your various paintings and you'll get feedback from Howard um, after the class. Uh, and that will lead you straight up to the next one, which is the first Tuesday of uh, April, uh, the second, uh, where we're calling it Spring Clean Greens is the title for this one. And you'll see from the photo reference, it's a uh, lovely almost green meadow with some really colourful buildings in the background. Yeah, uh, thanks, Johnny. Again, it, it is uh, very much a case of which greens. Greens are notoriously um, awkward. It's an awkward colour. There's no, no getting away from it. And I've, you know, uh, uh, I've puzzled over this myself for years, but I've come down to the conclusion that it's because there's, in everyday life, there are so many greens on this planet where exposed to the color green a heck of a lot during the course of a, of a day. Um, so greens have to be right. And the spring greens in particular are um, a fun, just that lesson alone would be a fantastic uh, color recipe, color theory lesson to take on board because it'll really help people to. Um, to nail the greens, the problem with the greens, which I'm going to go into in in, in some detail. 
brilliant oh no i'm really looking forward to that one then the following month on the 7th of may tuesday um we're going to be exploring summer summer warmth this one is called and um it looks like a a, a brook or a river or something running through some some meadows but i would imagine summer colors in your palette yeah, summer colours, um, they take on, again, I mean, bearing in mind that, that across the globe, these the only thing that's going to affect these uh, colour palettes slightly is, is local fauna. And um, I'll be advising people how to accommodate those variations. The summer um, colours in particular, we will expect to find generally the warmer. I'm stating the obvious here, but um, again, it, it's... It's which it's precisely which color mixes and uh, recipes that I choose to convey um, warmer climes, um, drier ground, um, uh, and how those greens change as you move from spring into summer. Very different. Yeah, yeah. No, it'll be interesting that one. And then the following month, final. Uh, class of the series 4th of june uh obviously we're going to be experiencing autumn the fall and this photo that you've shared is of the, the building is quite prominent in this photo yeah the um image uh we've provided for the autumn scene um i like to it's about shadows um i think autumn's a fantastic season for shadows um you know the sun is lower in the sky um, and buildings are great for this, conveying this, because, of course, you know, the shadows are longer and flat vertical surfaces um, show off. So so I'll be showing off the colours that we'll be using in those shadows on the buildings. But, of course, and how the shadow colours change across the ground, um, bearing in mind that um, the foliage is against a backdrop of, um, of autumn colours. So we're looking for all those wonderful hots, those hot oranges and reds, uh, which um, I will be showing people how to exaggerate, not, not back away, not fear, you know, not to get too sort of, um, not scared to use the brighter colours. But, of course, that comes in with a, a clever mix of playing off the brighter colours with some neutrals. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I love hosting Howard just for those that are watching this. Uh, he's, he's got so much knowledge and he's such a, a giving teacher and educator. He, he's really good at uh, talking as he paints along so you can really understand his thought processes. And I'd highly recommend going and checking out our video library at Shopkey Party. Um, search for Howard. And he's got some he did another series on art techniques um, and uh, just just general things about uh, focal points and simplification. Highly recommended. That was a really good series as well. This one is is going to be fantastic for those that maybe even for those that paint plein air, because you can you how to give you some really great tips for, for what paints what colors to incorporate in your palette when you're going out and about at particular seasons of the year so i think it's an indispensable series uh, if you're if you're interested in painting particularly themed seasonal paintings um which i guess we all are really aren't we so uh, don't miss it uh, check out the link it'll either be below or above i don't quite know where it'll be above of this video um, and if you're a patron of ska you should be able to qualify for a discount as well so have a look for the link for that as well on the page. Howard, thank you so much for sharing some of your time this morning to talk about your upcoming season, a series. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I, I know you will be too. And uh, Yeah, absolutely. I know. And looking forward to this. So please join us. Take care, Howard. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. All the best. Hope to see you soon.